Hi there, this is Bob from Insidium. On today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be generating some particles as part of these branching networks. They'll be non intersecting branches and they will form within the volume of any scene geometry. It uses Nexus particles, it also uses Teo Tree to get the effect to work. So, let's jump in. In our scene, we have our wolf head here, and we're going to go to Insidium Teo Teo Tree. And in the Teo tree, we're just going to go to the display tab and activate attraction points. So what Teo tree does, it takes a growth point and then it generates these attraction points within this green cube, which is called the crown. And then the tree grows from the growth point, branches off. And these are all fighting for the viable space being attracted to these points and creating this non-intersecting branching system. So that's cool. But we can use scene objects as the volume shape instead of this green crown. And that's what we want to do. So let's go to the Teo tree, volume points, and we'll change it from crown shape to volume objects drag in our insidium wolf and now it has generated a hundred attraction points within the volume of our wolf head let's increase that to a thousand points and it's going to take a little bit of time to generate but then we're going to get those higher um, point count tree and we've got this really cool branching system with, uh, inside the volume of our wolf heads. So that's looking really cool. Now, we don't need, want to do any other tree-like activity with this. We don't need leaves or forces or animation or anything like that. I just want to spline from it. So let's go to the object properties. Change the object type from poly to spline. Now, you could just leave this live. It would work perfectly well. But just um, for ease's sake, I, don't, I know I don't need to go back to it. I'm just going to hit C make it editable, and now we've just got a spline. The only change I'm going to make, let's make it a B spline, just to make sure that we haven't got any too sharper angles here. Excellent. So now I want to um, emit some particles from this spline. If we just make our wolf head visible again, let's put it in X-ray mode, and you can see, look, there's our really nice non-intersecting branches inside. We're going to go to Insidium, X particles, uh, emitter and in the object tab we're going to change this shape to object mode drag in our teo tree to the object link field emit from edges and in the emission tab we want a shot of particles we want say 15,000 full lifespan zero speed and radius of say one for now so now when we hit play yep look we've got our blue particles spawned on that tree spline very good so if we go to insidium x particles nexus and bring in a push modifier and set this push to distance mode particle radius and hit play these particles are now going to push each other apart and that is the start of our basic simulation but we want this to be a little uh, have a bit more control over when this happens so to do that what we're going to do is say with these blue particles, these are going to become the parent particles, and we don't want these to be affected by our push modifier. So let's go to the modifiers tab of that emitter, drag in the push. With this minus, it's no longer affected by the push. Okay. And we're going to spawn particles from these. And we're going to do that with question. Let's go to Insidium, X particles, Nexus, NX question. And we're going to use a field. So let's go to the fields tab. We'll add a spherical field, and then let's just move that over here and maybe scale it down a little bit, something like that. Okay, let's go back to our next question, and we'll go to the object tab. We want to ask a question, and the question is going to be a particle question if the particle is not age, if it is in the field. So we can put if the field is greater than zero, that just means any, uh, anywhere inside this is considered inside the field. So if the particle is in the field, do something. And we want them to spawn new particles. So let's go and add an action. And we want to not set, we want to spawn. We want to set once, only spawn once. One particle, um, let's put zero distance, so exactly where the parent is. And we need a new spawning emitter. We can create one just by clicking this button add and there is our new emitter there look whilst we're in this let's just go to the display tab and change it to spheres and go back to the question 
Okay, so we don't want to inherit the parent properties. So let's uncheck that. We'll set it manually. We want zero speed. And let's just start with a radius of 1.5 and we'll leave them yellow for now. Okay, so now let's make our original particles invisible. Hit play and get our field. And as we move this, yes, look, they're spawning our new particles. Brilliant. And that's our basic effect done. But we need to... Um, uh, get this to look a little bit better we want a bit of variation in this scale so we'll do that by going to our question spawn and we're going to actually have them be spawned with zero radius and then grow up so let's go to insidium x particles nexus scale we're going to change value over time let's make it quite small amount so it's a slow scale bit of variation and now we want to clamp them between 0 and say 1.5 so now they're not going to scale up until obviously they are spawned but now yeah you see they're growing up over time and we're getting this random variation of their size brilliant just finally let's add a bit of color go to insidium x particles nexus and we want the color mod we're going to do a gradient by parameter layer we're going to map let's load a preset and this black violet orange one will do we're not going to map it to the age of the particle. We're going to map it to a field. Okay, let's go to the fields. And we can use the wolf head as a field, which is brilliant. Let's drag in our wolf head as the field. We'll set it to surface mode. Let's hit play. And now you're going to see, yes, look, on the outside, they are the yellow color. And on the inside, they are the black color. And we, if we want to move that, we can just change this radius amount to bring that color in. Fantastic. So now if we go to our question, we can control the scaling up of our particles on our network of non-intersecting branches inside the volume of our scene geo. Pretty cool technique.